Hello, my name is Jenny. I am a teaching artist with the Dayong Museum. Thank you for joining me for this week's art activity where we are going to create an accordion book full of rubbings and monoprints of a variety of textures that you observe throughout your neighborhood. Before we start, I would like to share the art that was the inspiration for the project. Let's take a look. In the ceramic sculpture, Rapids Canyon, artist Wayne Higby explores surfaces of the Western landscape where he grew up. His art captures the panoramic vistas of canyons, rivers, and other natural formations of the region. Wayne Higby used clay, glazing, and firing techniques to create textures of the Colorado landscape from a distance. With this project, we are going to zoom in on the patterns and textures found in our own neighborhoods. So the project begins with a stroll. Find an adult to go for a walk with you and gather the materials that you'll need for your walk. I went for about a half hour long walk around my neighborhood, searching for interesting surfaces and textures. I made lots of interesting texture discoveries. I took photographs of the grass growing in the cracks of the sidewalk, the bark of various trees, and the stone tiles in the park nearby along with the brick on the side of my home. I also created lots of rubbings. Create a rubbing by placing newsprint paper on the surface and gently but firmly swipe across the paper using the side of a crayon or pencil. Here I am making a rubbing of a beautiful tiled mural on the steps at the very end of California Street in San Francisco. What are the surfaces that make your neighborhood unique? Once back home, you can set aside your rubbings for later. Make sure you have access to your camera in case you would like to look at the photos for inspiration. Now, gather the materials you need for monoprinting. Roll out your printing ink or use a large brush and a thin layer of acrylic paint on the bottom of a glass baking dish. Using your chosen tools, create marks that remind you of all the textures and patterns from your walk. You can refer back to those photographs you took, or you could just use your memory. I'm thinking about the sidewalk with grass growing in between the cracks. Now to create that surface, I'm going to use a few different types of tools. I'm going to start by making a couple of hard lines with a Q-tip. And then to create those cracks that I saw forming on the sidewalk, I'm going to use the tip of a paintbrush handle. Now I'm going to use this coarse wire brush to create the texture of the sidewalk. The final tool is this plastic fork to create grass growing between the cracks. Once you're ready to print, gently place your paper on the surface and hold down with one hand while you print with the other. You can use your fist. You could also use the tips of your fingers. Gently press along the sides of the paper. When you're all ready, you can just gently lift the paper from a corner and you will have your print. Have fun with the mono printing process. Make as many prints as you wish using different types of tools and different color inks or paints as well. While you're letting your prints dry, fold a simple accordion book. Measure and cut a six by 24 inch piece of paper, or you could use a paper grocery bag like I'm doing here. Once you have folded your accordion book and your prints have dried, you can glue your rubbings 
and your monoprints into the pages of your book. If you would like, you could also cut and collage pieces from your rubbings and monoprints to create a new design. As you look at your book, think about what you noticed on your neighborhood walk. Did you make any new observations about where you live? Thinking about the printing process, what did you learn about monoprinting? What did you discover? Did you have a favorite printing tool? What types of marks did you make with that tool? Thank you so much for creating this project with me.